Hey there and welcome to another Dave Does video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the wonderful man that is Alec Bartar. Now we all know on this channel Alec Bartar and if you don't well I have no idea where you've been. Have you been living under a rock most likely? Uh, now Alec Bartar has been around for four maybe five years on YouTube. Um, he has over five million subscribers which is awesome. Um, he was well known at the start for doing uh, finger style guitar playing covers um, and then he moved on to original compositions uh, and he's, a, he's an amazing guitarist he's moved from his standard um, acoustic setup he's now got a, a, this new lovely PRS and he's moving into uh, bigger compositions and it's great to see Alep's journey but I wanted to share with you today my top 10 finger style or uh, songs that he has done over the last uh, four or five years. So without further ado, let me get into my listing. So in number 10, my 10th favorite uh, Alec Batar finger star is Samoga. Um, this is quite a recent one. I think this is his most recent uh, song. It's an original composition. He plays a very well structured song all the way throughout. It's composed uh, in, a, in a lovely way. It makes complete sense from a song point of view. Uh, it's on his new PRS. He's using a backing track that he's obviously put together as well, which he doesn't normally do. He's only used uh, like a kind of uh, drum type track before on a few songs, and that's because he's playing electric. Cause normally, he uses his uh, acoustic to do that. Uh, it includes all his usual flourishes and shows his consistently developing his style. So it's a great song, and that's my number ten. Number nine, we have uh, Riorian. Now, Riorian. Um, it's some serious funk. He's got a funky groove in that particular track. Uh, it has wonderful flourishes and also showcases his unique playing style. So it's another great song. Uh, it's very groovy. I love it. Uh, number eight, we have Infected. It's another one of his originals. Um, it's a wonderful original. It's got such a nice uh, melody to the song. Um, very well structured, very well put together. Has a kind of very dream theatre kind of vibe to the song uh, and when I did the collaboration on it it was very easy and self-explanatory of where to what to do with the actual track so yeah uh, Infected is my number eight number seven we have Pandemic now this came out at the uh, kind of closing end of the pandemic lockdown period uh, it's a beautiful track it's uh, got a little bit of a funky rhythm behind it uh, with a very hooky chorus and a lovely chord composition structure. So I really enjoyed that one. Number six, we're now getting into some of the covers. Um, and this is Another Day. So Another Day captures the emotion of the original song really well. Perfectly, he does it a, a great job of it. Uh, amazing technique and great tempo control. And the reason I talk about tempo control is for when I do the collaboration videos, um, it makes it a lot easier if someone's got good temper control, and he always has. Number five, Bunkaku. It's a, it's a bit more of a simpler guitar track, uh, but what we do get on this particular cover is we get him singing, and I really love that. Uh, I loved it. It was the first time I came across him actually going down the, the vocal route. Yes, he, he's not a vocalist like many of us are, but he gave it a great go, and actually he sounded really good, so I, I appreciate Bungaku. Number four, we have More Than Words. More Than Words is originally done by a band called Extreme. It's a beautiful song uh, in its original form. He does it amazingly well in this uh, finger style cover. Um, he captures it perfectly and he does it effortlessly. Uh, it's a great song. Number three, we have a Love of My Life, originally by Queen. It's a great rendition of the track uh, and he simply just shows off his talent in it. And he captures the raw emotion of that song and it just just brings a tear to you up to your eye when you uh, watch and listen to him play it number two we have the final countdown uh great tempo control lots of energy captures the original song by europe uh amazing playing all the way throughout and just really enough is said and so my number one favorite uh Alep Bartar fingerstyle cover is Bohemian Rhapsody. Now I picked this particular one because one, it's an amazing song. It's a very long composition. There is so many intricate little parts into this song that 
the fact that he even attempted it is amazing. The fact that he pulled it off so well and he kept maintained tempo all the way throughout. It's a class piece of playing by Mr. Alec Bartar. And if you've not seen his cover of Bohemian Rhapsody, you have to go and watch it. So that is my top 10. And that is my top 10 at the moment. It may change as I listen to more of them. Uh, and I'm going to be doing my top 10 of the collaborations. Not I'm not just talking about my collaborations. I'm going to be talking about everyone's collaborations. I'm going to pick up my top 10 Alec Bartar collaborations with other artists uh, and I look forward to seeing you on that video. Before I go, make sure to check out my other channels. I've got two other channels, that, two other main other channels. We've got the ADK Rock and Metal channel. Go check that one out, link in the description down below. And we've now got all of the collaborations with people like Alec Bartar, Felix Awan, Dima Senapati, Anwar Amsa, Josephine Alexandra, and many more are now all on one channel called the Indonesian Collaborations and Covers by Dave Does or the Dave Does channel. So that's in the description down below. Make sure you head over there because that's where all of the collaborations in the future are going to be. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video sometime very soon. Take care.